is on the way, and it's a great time to steal away some family or friend time at a local museum. I had the pleasure of getting an inside tour of downtown San Jose's museums with Director of Cultural Affairs, Carrie Adams Happner. I love our museums in San Jose because they offer such a unique experience at each one. And let's start off with the Children's Museum. Tell us about it. I mean, it really offers so many great hands-on activities for kids where they're stimulating their senses, they're growing and they're learning, and they can just be free in that museum. It's really lovely. I think over the summer months we have a pretty exciting exhibit coming as well called Doc McStuffins and it's based upon the beloved uh, television uh, character. Art is not meant to be intimidating. We want it to be for everybody. Art is a way to really express ourselves as human beings and tell the story of our humanity. Mm -hmm. So we want art to be available and accessible to everybody here in the city of San Jose. I'm a, a visual arts person. I love contemporary art. So when I go to the Museum of Art, I really love seeing um, they have a beautiful Louise Nevelson piece. Uh, she was a, a 20th century uh, female artist that worked, worked in wood. We reflect the diversity and the energy of Silicon Valley in our uh, ever-changing array of exhibitions and public programs that range from lunchtime lectures to free community days to traveling exhibitions, major artists from California and around the world. Now you're thinking, all right, I want to go see a museum. Where would you go? The Tech Museum of Innovation is planning an expansion of wow. their museum. Um, that is underway right now. So we've actually almost completely redone the museum in the past five years. Very true to that Silicon Valley spirit of innovation and things happening very quickly. So you'll find exhibits that are really relevant to our location here in San Jose and Silicon Valley. And you can actually cover a couple of them on in the same day. You know, they're all walking distance to each other, which is one of the wonderful benefits of our downtown. I, for one, when I went to the Quilt Museum, I really liked the exhibit they had with the strip that sort of connected everyone. Um, do you, is there something at the Quilt Museum that you really like? Well, the Quilt Museum also has its own permanent collection as well, and so they have just incredible work that they have on display that they rotate out. But then they also have different exhibitions that they curate. So each time I go, it's a little bit different, and I absolutely love what they have to offer because it's very insightful. It's very cosmopolitan and global mm -hmm. the way that they put things mm -hmm. together. We're familiar with textiles. They surround us. We walk on them. We sit on them. We wear them. They're familiar, they're warm, they're comforting. And so you get closer because you think it's something soft and comforting. But she has all sorts of messages that are about life and death uh, that when you get close enough to read, it's like, oh, that's not what I expected to see, a little bit like our museum. And would you say they're affordable for a family? Oh, absolutely. Each and every one of those museums is extremely affordable. Um, in some cases, they will not turn people away either. They have That is a, a, a mission of their organization, like Children's Discovery Museum. They will not turn anybody away if they can't afford the entrance fee. Mm -hmm. So um, absolutely, they all make it their mission to be very accessible to the general public. And uh, what about for teachers or educators who want to expose their students to art? So each of these museums offers a really, really great way for young children to come and see different points of view and to learn and to grow from an arts experience and from arts education. Uh, so we try to provide as many keys as people need. If they just want to look at the art, they are free to do that. If they want to read a wall text that will help illuminate what's going on with that work, it is there for them. If they want to take away a gallery guide free of charge, they can do that. If they want to talk to somebody live, we're always here to help. So come out and enjoy the art and enjoy the museums that we have to offer here in San Jose. So, and thank you for your time, Claudia. Okay. Thanks for joining us on California Up Now. We'll see you next time.